All right, so uh, my name is uh, Bayard Templeton. I teach uh, middle school history at Germantown Academy in Fort Washington, Pennsylvania. Okay, and can you tell us what it's like to be back in the classroom as a student this time, not as a teacher? Uh, I think it sort of reinvigorates my passion for history and what got me into uh, this field and this study to, to begin with. Uh, it brings me back to my undergraduate and graduate school days of really sitting down with research and uh, processing it and discussing it and really uh, dissecting documents and you know specific words and phrases uh, that uh, you know to be able to do it with a with a, a group of of colleagues who are incredibly talented and uh, and bring a whole wealth of, of knowledge and backgrounds is a you know is is really a, a, a privilege and something I feel really lucky to have. Um, and to be on the other side of it, it, I think it'll, when it comes September, I think there are, the, it, it will bring you back with a little bit um, more of a perspective of how my students might be uh, feeling on a day-to-day -day basis in class. And maybe, you know, it's made me think about the rhythm of my class and, and what makes sense to do in class and out of class, um, just just based on pieces of the class in the, that, I've responded well to and others that, that uh, you know, have been more challenging. Awesome. Thank so you. why would you say that studying the abolitionist movement is important? When I approach teaching history to middle school students, I want them to, at, at the end of the day, at the end of the year, to feel like they can have some sort of impact on history. And you know, I try to focus on, you know, we, I teach some of the traditional uh, pieces and you know the, the big names but I uh, am a real fan of social history and uh, you know, I've done a project on, on activism and since I teach pre-Civil War US history uh, abolitionist movement fits in perfectly with that uh, and you know the idea that the uh, individual people uh, and then by getting together as a group could really make a real change that it, we're not just talking about um, a, a top-down approach that it's all about the the, the presidents uh, and famous Congress people, but that, that they're people who come from a variety of backgrounds who really can uh, can make a difference. And I think it, it also helps connect students to to people in history who either have similar backgrounds to them uh, that, that they do, whether it's uh, students of color, um, you know. Uh, my female students, seeing them write about and read about uh, women involved both in abolition and the women's rights movement, I, I see a huge difference in their engagement and their passion for research um, when they feel like people like them are a little bit more a part of it. Um, and obviously connection to modern day, whenever you're talking about slavery, it will always lead to, okay, why does America look the way it does now? Um, it, it, that's also a valuable conversation, but I think as a teaching tool, uh, it's, a, it's really great content for students to wrap their heads around as to how one person and eventually hopefully a larger group of people can, can get themselves into a history textbook. It's, and, and even if it's not, even if they're not a product of, uh, of an election or of a wealthy family. Wonderful. Thanks.